Micro processor versus micro controller. Now, what is the difference between a microprocessor and a microcontroller? Microprocessor generally used for general purpose applications. Then what about a microcontroller? My, microcontroller is used for specific applications like our TV remote or TV or washing machine, oven, such kind of specific applications. So now, what, how does these two, that is microcontroller and microprocessor differ? This is a microprocessor based. I'll try to draw a block diagram of microprocessor. Well, how the systems are different? The microprocessor, you should have, this is the microprocessor, processor, and it should have a CPU for processing it. And it won't be having any other peripherals. There won't be, uh, what, what, what will be, this, this will have a two bus. That's one will take it as the data bus. This let be the data bus. And the other one is the address bus. That is all a microprocessor will be having. Just a CPU and address bus and data bus. That is the only part it's going to be there in a microprocessor. So what about the uh, memory uh, the, like RAM? RAM externally the designer chooses what size of the memory he want, what ROM he want, what type RAM, uh, what what the size of the RAM required, a uh, ROM. This all are chosen by the designer. So he has the freedom to choose the required memory peripherals etc. Now then we have IO ports. This all externally will be adding to the microprocessor using the bus system. Then what is there? Timer also we need. Timer. So many things are there. Timer. The timer also will be adding externally. Then what is there? What is there for a, a system? See our computers are based on microprocessor. Okay. So in a microprocessor these all uh, memory io timer even the communication ports communication communication these all are separately added communication these all are externally added so we can have whatever the what kind of communication we need whether we need a, a serial or a usb or i square See whatever the community or can communication, we can choose whatever the communication we want. This is how a uh, microprocessor based design. Microprocessor doesn't have any other peripherals, is a microprocessor with a CPU. It's a C CPU. Now we will see the microcontroller. This is the microprocessor. This is the microprocessor. Now we will see what's a microcontroller. A microcontroller will have everything built in that is independently one single chip will be having all member built in memory IO timer everything will be there so this is what this is the microcontroller and what I'm going to say it's having a everything is built in what is there there has to be a RAM there has to be a ROM and then what is there timer for the communication there can be CAN or LAN so for the communication part or LAN then what is there uh, then it should have a timer timer mentioned the serial port serial port these all are included in a single chip it's a standalone chip then importantly what we have we have IO ports other than that we can have PWM we can have PWM, then what we can have? We can have uh, ADC, MUX, all these are 
using a single chip. So this is the main difference between a microcontroller and a microprocessor. See, in the microprocessor, all this RAM, ROM, I.O., timer, communication ports or communication chips, all are externally added. The design have the freedom to select. But in the microcontroller, everything is built in. You cannot change. What, what is the advantage? Microcontroller, low cost application, low cost, the low cost applications, microcontroller is a suitable one because it takes less area and very low cost and whatever the things are, in, it, whatever required, it is there in a single chip. That's what the microcontroller. Now we see what are the popular, popular microprocessor, which are the microprocessor, 8085 was one of the pro 8 bit microprocessor, 8 bit. 8 bit processor, then we had uh, 80286, 80286, it's a 16 bit, 16 bit microprocessor, and we had a 80486, 486, this is a 32 bit microprocessor, then we had Pentium series, and nowadays we know octa core like that many are there pentium pentium then we had the pentium series so in what about the microcontroller microcontroller popular microcontroller 805 8051 is a one of the popular microcontroller 8051 microcontroller just a popular microcontroller and one more was there uh Cylog 68 6800 Cylog 6800 so I am starting a series of lectures on first it will be we will be going through 8051 microcontroller then we will go to 8085 microprocessor. So thanks for watching.